Today is Friday, December 6th. Back on this day in history, in 1865, the 13th Amendment of the United States Constitution was ratified, abolishing slavery. Inventor Thomas Edison records himself singing Mary Had a Little Lamb on an invention he is working on called the phonograph in 1877. The first presidential address broadcasted on radio by President Calvin Coolidge happened in 1923. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer airs for the first time on television in 1964. All this happened on this day in history, December 6th. There will be a free chili supper in the Capitorium with your admission into the game tomorrow night from 5 to 7. We will be honoring first responders that night. Come out and enjoy some delicious chili and the continued tradition of our crosstown rivalry. Celebrating a birthday today is Sharon Kazor and Zoe Setzer and the band director, Mr. Elliott. Happy birthday, maestro. Also celebrating birthdays over the weekend are Zach Falk, Alex Jenkinson, and Shadati Smith. What? Tonight, the boys welcome the Randolph Southern Rebels to the UC gym for their home opener. Tip-off is at 6 p.m. Come out to the game and root on the Indians, or you can watch on KISS TV 5, KISS Livestream, and KISS Facebook Live. Good luck to the boys team. And don't forget tomorrow, the boys and girls basketball teams will be playing crosstown opponent, the Missinawa Valley Blackhawks. The girls and boys varsity will play on the main gym, and the JV will be playing on Horizon Court. Tip-off is at 6 p.m. And on the other side, the 7th grade Lady Indians traveled to Winchester last night to face county rival Driver. The Lady Indians' stingy defense and timely shot making led them to victory 23-18. to Oakley Riker led the way with 12 points and 4 rebounds. Gabby Ordinez added 6 points. Emma Blankley, Anna V. Cox Ramos, and Becca Overlease added 2. Overlease and Ramos cleaned the glass with 8 and 5 rebounds respectively with the win. The Lady Indians advanced to 3-0 and on the season, and for the girls' 8th grade, they were defeated by a score of 30-15. to The TP is holding a Christmas raffle. Anytime you purchase something from the TP from today until Christmas break, you will have the chance to enter your name on the last day. $1, $3, $5 gift card will be awarded to three winners. Purchase something today to enter. Last night, the Union City 7th grade boys traveled to Randolph Southern to face the Rebels. Union City took a comfortable lead early in the game, and the Indians won with the final score, UC 40, Southern 6. The top three leading scorers for the Indians were Jace O'Connor with 10, Trendon Smith with 8, Cole and Emmerich with 5. The Indians play again on Monday, December 9th at East J. Game time begins at 5.30. In the 8th grade contest, the boys won their contest 44 to For lunch on Monday, we are having fajita stick with salsa, corn, refried beans, pineapple, mango and oranges, and least but not last, milk. Winchester, Versailles, and all the people out there watching our Freaky Fridays today. My name is Mr. Lynch, and we're going to give a little shout out to the first graders of Northside. We haven't said something to you guys for a while, and also there's a couple little buddies out there. I'm going to say hey to you guys too, and you know who you are. Listen, we're going to do a pretty cool in, uh, experiment today. We're going to show how density of an object makes a difference. We have some plain water. I have some vegetable oil. I have some table salt and I have some food coloring, and I want you guys to make a prediction. Which is most dense? And uh, if you talk about density, something in water that's more dense would sink, or something in water that's less dense would float. So what I'm going to do is start with some water. I'll pour it in the top of this into my larger container, and then we need to pour in some vegetable oil. You can get this at the grocery store. It's not expensive. But you need about two or three cups of it to really see if there's any difference being made here. And as you can see, it looks like the oil is yellow in color. It's going to come up to the top and the water is going to stay toward the bottom, which is a pretty good indicator that if you guessed it, oil is less dense than water, so it's floating on top. We have some salt, we have some food coloring. I want to do the food coloring next. I'm going to drop some drops of food coloring in the oil. Will it float or will it sink? That's what we need to predict here. 
So we'll drop three or four or more drops of food coloring. I put five drops in there. And we have, you can see some of them start to go down toward the bottom. But they didn't get into the water yet. Interesting. What if I take some food or some salt and put it on top of that? Now watch what happens. Can you see it going through the water and collecting a bunch of oil with it? The oil is going down with the salt, but then the salt stays at the bottom and the oil comes back up. So there's an easy indicator to know what's the most dense of all of these materials, oil, water, and salt and food coloring. Did you guess salt is the most dense? It certainly is. Food coloring and water are actually the same density. They mixed evenly together. And notice the blue, it didn't mix in with the oil. It mixes in with the water. So the salt stays on the bottom. The water is just above the salt, and the oil is on the top. And the food coloring sank through the oil and went into the water. So you had four different materials, all different densities, and you also had a pretty cool object like a homemade lava lamp to look at if you wanted to, to predict which one is the most dense. Now you know a little bit more about density. Hope you guys enjoy this one. You guys have a great day.